Hello, welcome to Let's Play Dark Souls Part 25. Picking up right where we left off. All right, here's the boss, which uh, we're not gonna take on quite yet. We've got a few more loose ends to tie up here. Um, so last time, at the end of the episode, if you remember, I was looking for an area and got disoriented. Turns out I wanted to go down here. Um, now I went ahead, just sort of poked my head down here. There was, there were just a bunch of those fiery statue things here. I just killed them and cleaned them up. Didn't miss much else. Um, to the left here, uh, we're not going to want to go in that room just yet. Um, before we do that, let's explore this way. And this might look familiar, because up ahead is the uh, Type Knight Demon. And uh, we actually saw his backside before. So let's, uh, let's be brave. Let's actually take this one on and um, see what's on the other side. And um, I mean, we already know what's on the other side. Uh, okay, here quickly. Okay. Be real careful. Okay. Oh. Yeah, sorry, I'm just I'm trying to really focus here. And he got me. Well, <laughs> this is a. Uh... Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. Please. You died. Well, uh, ooh, I should probably spend those souls. Either way, um, <laughs> back down here now. And okay, this is another one of the pain points of this level <laughs> is that you do have to slog through so many of those statues every time you die. Um, either way, I'll uh, cut back to where I was and uh, I'll meet you there. Man, those guys make a funny sound. Maybe we run from the statues. Fight this statue instead. I don't know. Does he looks like he's made of stone to me? I don't know about what you guys think. Um, okay, so let's be careful here. I do want to get my souls. So let's just be smart and grab these. Yes. All right. These guys can just actually dodge like us is what makes them so I also I really don't like how little room we have here. Getting caught with that same <laughs> Okay, got a little bit more assist. Uh Okay, okay, one more, one more. Come on, come on. Be smart here, we're gonna bait out the attacks first and then go in. Ah! The problem is they have so much reach. Oh, okay, they nearly got me. Ah, they got so much health. This one in particular, I think, is the strongest of all the Titanite demons <laughs> in the game. So just sort of keep that in mind. Alright, well, now we gotta... Yeah, I thought I'd kill him. Yeah, they got a lot of health. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, try that again. Alright, uh, how many times have I said third time's the charm <laughs> in this series? Uh, hopefully it actually is this time. Maybe, okay, how about this? Let's uh, play a little more defensively. Use our shield. I also put our wolf ring back on. Uh, usually they like to start to jump. Wow, <laughs> the shield did nothing. It might have dampened the blow a bit. Okay. Let's, smack. let's, let's be careful, right? Let's, let's not get greedy. Oh no, I didn't pick up my souls. That's fine. I didn't I didn't need the 45,000 or so souls. Ooh, having a rough time with this one. I don't have 
I don't have the lava ring. <laughs> I, I, I deserve that one. At this point, though, okay, so there's a nice sort of, uh, this is actually one of the freeing, most freeing moments of Dark Souls. When you lose your souls, you got nothing else to lose. Oh, let's put the ring on this time. And uh, now you can truly play without fear or anxiety. So um, <laughs> that being said, I will uh, meet you back at the source of my fear and anxiety. All right, this is the one, this is the one. Got our shield up. Got our wolf ring on. <laughs> yeah, okay, this is actually tough to block. And he, I, I block it and I still get damaged, so you know what? Shield, I don't think, is the way to go. We just gotta. Oh! <sighs> oh, man. This is, uh. This might be the most I've ever died to a single enemy. Okay. Okay, yeah, these are the kinds of enemies that just, like, really test your patience in Dark Souls, right? Because the thing is that, you know, you die, you want to just rematch him right away, but you can't. You have to spend two minutes running through the level. Sort of resets yourself, then get back into the fight, take what you learned from last time. So maybe, okay, have this. No shield, right? The shield is definitely a bad idea. It doesn't even block full damage for us. And it's just, it takes a lot of stamina. So let's just uh, bob and weave, bob and weave. Okay, just do a little damage where we can. Okay, now that's what got me killed last time. Not last time, but before that. Ah, still got me. The thing is, like, with enemies like this, you gotta really... You only want to heal during a time when you would have attacked, if that makes sense. Right, like, you gotta be careful when... Oh, ooh, got a nice counter hit on him. Halfway there. Let's see if we can keep this up. That's the one. Okay, yeah. When he swings big... That's a good chance for us. Ah. Yeah, when he swings big, that's the one he can combo in. We gotta be careful on those. Okay, good dodge. Whoa. Let's get some stamina back. Yeah, it's here. Ooh. Oh, it still got me. Alright, out of health. I have an idea. Let's see how this fares. Oh, no. One more time. Oh, come on. Wow, this is like I'm doing nothing. Whoa. Alright, did a little bit of damage. What do we got here? I got a fire orb. It's gonna do much better. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, five more of these will actually help us a lot. Oh, okay, it's not two hand up points are playing. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, I got it. Whoa! How did that not hit? You might have had some iframes there. Okay, nearly got him. So you want to be most careful. Okay, no more heals, no more heals, no more fireballs. Alright, let's see what we can do. Oh, he dodged, okay. I think one more hit will do it. Yeah. All right, and there we go. So that was a tough fight, <laughs> but um, some an interesting thing about this one is that and we got two de demon titanite. This is actually uh, the only titanite demon in the game that'll respawn. So if you need to get your hands on a lot of demon titanite, you have to s just farm him here. Just, you know, come back, I I go back to the bonfire now. He'll respawn. Then you come back and repeat. 
So anyway, for all of our trouble, let's see what we got. Um, like I said, we were here before. This is the other side of the shortcut. But now we should find up ahead, Solaire is chilling. So let's see what he has to say. Was it all a lie? Have I done this all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do? My son. My dear, dear son. See, so yeah, he's pretty depressed. Um, his whole journey was looking for his son. He decided to go deep underground for some reason to find the son. I don't, I don't know what his logic there is. So, of course, he's disappointed that the son's not down here. Um, <laughs> but the thing is that if we hadn't opened this shortcut here, right? Remember that sunlight maggot that we found? Um, Solera would have actually been hypnotized by that. And uh, we would have seen him down here if we actually put it on ourselves here. Look at this thing, yeah. We would have seen Solera wearing this thing, and he actually would have been hostile trying to kill us. He would have gone completely mad. He would have claimed, look at this, this is my son. I found my son. And, you know, this because there's like this bug thing just sucking his brain. It's making him go crazy. But thankfully we killed the parasite. Uh, we can put the parasite on, no problem, for some reason. Um, but if he put it on, he would not have been having a good time. So he's still not having a good time, but... Was it all a lie? Oh. Yeah, he'll, he'll get over it, don't worry. Um, anyway, we wanted to talk to him. Uh, there's actually not much else for him to do here. But that would have been the end of his story. But, you know, we did the secret thing, we got him, we saved him. And we're gonna see him one more time down the road. And uh, we'll, we'll talk about that again when we get there. But That is most of the Solar quest line at this point. Um, and yeah, I am running very low on equipment here. I would like to go back to the bonfire, but I think I only have... Do I even have any? I think I'm out of Homeward Bones. I forgot to buy some <laughs> when I said I would. Really feeling the pain of that now, oh, yeah. Okay, so... I've only got 8,000 souls. We got the Titanite Demon, so you know what? Let's adjust... Uh, oh, oh, a little closer. Yeah, let's uh, let's go off dramatically here. Oh, <laughs> well, I think you saw what I was going for. Either way, I wanted to just get back to the bonfire. There's only eight thousand souls. There's actually an item called the Dark Sign um, that you actually start with, which I don't know if I ever talked about it, but uh, oh, I don't think I have my ring on. Oh god, that would've been bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, the Dark Sign pretty much does what we just did, except uh, without actually having to die. If you use it, it's just a homeward bone, but you drop all your souls. So, you could do that, or if you can kill yourself conveniently nearby, you may as well do that. So, anyway, that was um, a good chunk of the episode there. Um, hope that was an exciting fight. Because uh, the boss is going to be a different story. Um, <laughs> no, we're not, we're not at the boss quite yet, so... Let's uh, type our last loose end here, and then we'll, uh, we'll talk about the amazingness that is this boss. But first, uh, we're going to have to get through these things again. Yeah, I've, I've been cutting these out for you guys, but oh my god, I've ran through this place so many times <laughs> to fight that thing. I'm coming up here. Get to fight the demon again. And oh, yeah, that attack, by the way, uh, if you get hit their spray, it'll it's like the leech attack in Blight Town. It will do corrosive damage to your weapon equipment, which can really screw you over if you're unlucky. Um, so we want to go down this way. Now, okay, this next part of the game... <laughs> this is just going to be a painful episode. This next part of the game, I've never actually properly done before. Okay, yeah, make sure you stick to the left, by the way, because it's a false, false wall. Um, walk down this branch here, and right here is our buddy Sigmar. Now, as far as what we got to do here, um, <laughs> pretty much we're going to talk to him and he's going to say how, um, I don't know exactly what he's going to say, but as far as what we're going to have to do is that he's going to drop down and charge in to kill these things, right? It's very important that this goes a very specific way. Um, he needs to survive with more than half of his health, I think. But you also have to let him kill at least one of them. 
Otherwise, he gets sad, and like it'll make more sense. So, um, I've never done this before, but after watching a how-to guide, the uh, the general idea is you want to shoot to death all of these things. And had I actually upgraded any of these, any of my bows here, this would have gone easier. Because if we just uh, start the main battle right away, he's uh, He's going to get overwhelmed and very likely going to die. But um, if you sort of do some preparation here, we're going to want to basically kill three of them and then get one of them down to really low health. Uh, this whole situation, by the way, uh, you want to be careful. Like, don't charge in too crazily because if you do a plunging attack and land into the, into the blender, um, you're going to have a really bad time. So let's see, I'm hoping I have enough arrows for this. <laughs> I think uh, we're gonna have like one shot here. Because, okay, if you mess up what I'm doing here, you can quit and reload if things are going bad. Uh, the problem there is though that thing, these things will respawn and I'm definitely not gonna have enough arrows to do this again. But we're gonna just make and do with what we got. Okay, we're almost done here. Um, I don't want to get him too low, just in case. Let's maybe hit him with one more arrow. Anyway, that took a minute. Uh, I might actually have enough arrows for take two if need be, but I have a better idea. Let's just do it right the first time. Um, okay, now there's also, once we drop down, I think there's gonna be one more like down below. I don't know if we can get an angle on him. But we're gonna want Siegmeier to take on that one, and then we're gonna focus on the other one. Uh, let's hope this all goes smoothly. I'm very nervous. <laughs> let's, let's just uh, jump into it, I guess. Okay, he's of course sleeping. Oh, ho! Oh. Excuse me, I was so absorbed in thought I just drifted away. Must be the warmth. Well, what's on your mind? No, don't tell me. Those monsters making life difficult for you? You need not be ashamed. We're all in the same boat, you know. I really have run up quite a debt to you. Perhaps the time has come. <sighs> um, friend, I have an idea. A good one, really. I will rush those dire fiends, and you can slip away in the confusion. Please, friend, I owe you much more than this. By the honor of the Knights of Katarina, allow me to assist you. And now, I go. Don't be slow. And we're off. Oh god, I forgot. You're gonna want your iron ring down here. All right, too late. We're gonna have to sort of. Oh, nice. Give an epic speech there, by the way. Let's see, is there anything else? Okay, he's still gone. Let's uh, quickly get this on. Is there another one over here? Oh God, I didn't realize. <laughs> this is that how the video went? Are you, are you done? Get away? Well, you saved me once again. Oh, thank God. I'm exhausted. I think I'll have a rest. Oh, don't you worry. The ground below me is my pillow. Oh I'll no. Shortly. I hope. I did I mess this up? Oh no. This might be. This might be good. <laughs> I think this is good. Uh, I'll have to double check. I think we did it right, guys. <laughs> Okay, he's just gonna sleep here. Um, I don't think he's gonna get poisoned and die. You don't have to worry about that. Um, speaking of which, we do probably wanna equip some poison heal here. Um, okay, I think that went well. We're gonna we're gonna find out <laughs> between episodes here, for sure. But um, while we're down here, there's one very important item we actually want. Um, this might this might actually be the lowest point in the game. Um, yeah, be careful these pits. I think down there would be. In terms of just like you know actual height, um, you know, like we started at Undeadberg, went down to Lower Undeadberg, then the Depths, then Blight Town, then the Demon Ruins, then Lost Isolith, and finally we're uh, kind of low in Lost Isolith. Now it might actually, yeah, I think down there is 
the lowest point, or possibly in the boss arena. I'm not totally sure. Um, either way, this is a real maze. Ah, there we go. Here we'll find a treasure chest, inside of which will be a red titanite slab. Yep. So this is where you, um, if you have a fire or a chaos weapon, come here and um, you can finish up your business here. So now we actually want to get out of here. Uh, before we do that, though, there are actually a few items, I think, that got dropped in the main area. And if we go here... Yeah, so when I was shooting them with the arrows, one of them dropped a uh, red titanite chunk right there. And there's a lot of items here. More, more red chunks. Another soul of the brave warrior. And some green titanite shards. Cool. Uh, now, there were stairs out of here, so I'm hoping we can find those easily. Uh, so what happened, I think we go this way. Wherever Seamare was, which I think was to the left here. Yeah. yeah so he's going to chill here. Um, I'm going to look up to make sure that what we did was right, which I think I've said already. But if we make our way up here, I don't know if we can actually get out of here. I think we can. I think you can get out of anywhere in Dark Souls, I believe. But I feel like I read that, that this area is the one <laughs> part of the game where that's not true. Um, but hopefully I'm wrong. And ooh, actually, okay, it's probably some stairs down here we have to go to to get that item. Sorry, I just I'm trying to be completionist, guys. <laughs> Maybe we can easily... Uh, uh, where do we go? Oh, it'll be down. Okay. Yeah, you know what? We're, we're going to try to get the item. Don't have many souls. I'll probably just dark sign out of here. Um, okay, so if we go down this way, we want to try to make our way over there. So let's try not to get disoriented. That's going to be in that direction, which looks totally sealed off. Awesome. <laughs> Maybe if we go this way... In fact, I recall that we sort of found some staircases, I think, in this direction. And then that's probably how we got up. And not here, but over here. Yeah, this will this will take us up there. So just got one last demon to fight. Alrighty, cool. And just another chunk. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, uh yeah, I'm just gonna dark sign. Lose humanity and souls in return. Oh yeah, so you do lose your humanity as well, which we have none, so not a big deal. So let's do this. Hello from the future. Um, well, rather, hello, goodbye. Um, so this is a few days after I finished uh, recording the end of uh, this current episode. Um, I did it all in one session, thinking I could do it in one episode, but um, as you'll see, things uh, didn't go as smoothly as I planned, and uh, the time kind of got extended. So. Here I am making an outro for a video that I already finished in the future. And uh, I will also be making the intro for the next part <laughs> right after this. But um, that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, I'll see you in the next part very shortly. Uh, take care.